Yo, what's up guys, it's Nathan and today we've got a fashion related video. It's the one that quite a few of you have been asking for. I'm going to show you my top 5 things in my wardrobe. This could count anything and everything. Some of you have been asking in the comments for a video quite like this for some time, so I thought it was just about time to do it with a new setup. Maybe even use the black backdrop in this video to make everything look snazzier. Right, so let's get into it. Um, I haven't picked what I like yet, so I'm just going to rummage through my wardrobe now and pick the five that I like. So it's going to be my top five things in my wardrobe. Don't expect anything flashy. I'm, I've got no money. So first thing, a few of you have asked in past videos what this is. It's very simple. This is a um, long sleeve represent under tee with the thumb holes. Uh, I bought this for £20 off someone in basement. I can't remember your name, so I apologise about that. But it was originally white. Um, I just chucked it in the wash with some dial and uh, black dye uh, in my last uh, accommodation last year in uni. Um, it fucking worked, didn't it? Looks really good under shirts, looks really good under hoodies. I just love the thumbnails, if anything. And it's really stretchy and it just looks sick, so that's my number one. Speaking of basement, my second favourite t-shirt is one that my girlfriend actually really likes as well. It's the uh, basement of Mr. Foma 10KT, came in a pack of three. This is the only one I have left actually, I've sold the other two because this is my favourite and I really needed money. So, you know, so that's my number two. Really dope tee, really like it. Now for my all time favourite t-shirt which I'm really, really happy that I have possession of. I got this for a steal from a guy called Reese McKee in basement and Supreme Talk. He actually gave me both of the Supreme t-shirts that I own. So thanks a lot Reese McKee for these, uh, hooking me up with these. It's the uh, Supreme 20th Anniversary Taxi Driver tee. Without even seeing the film, I think this t-shirt looks good anyway. But as a fan of the film and a fan of Robert De Niro, this was a must have. And the simplicity of it is just fantastic. I really like it. I'm not a big Supreme hype beast, but there are a few pieces that I really do like, such as this. <laughs> that voice cracked though. There are a few pieces that I like, such as this, and such as the other one that I own, which is the uh, Fuck You We Do What We Want t-shirt. So as you've all probably noticed, basics and monochrome t-shirts, just your black and whites are really, really in at the minute. Maybe if you want to count your greys, tan, olive, stuff like that, they're really in at the moment. Um, I've had these for quite a while, and they're probably the most wearable things in my wardrobe. You can just chuck them on with anything, they look good. Uh, this is a super long line, dropped shoulder, baggy fit t-shirt, I'm not sure of the actual name. They're, um, they're really cheap, the quality is not the best, but you know, for the price I don't really care. The basic stuff like this is actually really good because it works out really cheap and they're really wearable, so yeah, they're one of my favourites, even though it's ASOS. So it's just occurred to me so far, all you've seen is t-shirts, so I've swapped out the last t-shirt for another item instead, of which isn't a t-shirt. Uh, you love them or you hate them. It's the Represent Biker Jeans. I got these in two colours, so I'm just counting them as one thing again. This is the uh, Stonewash Black, I believe, and this is the Stonewash Blue. These are worn to shit. These are the most worn jeans I've got. I got these for just £50 plus postage from a guy in basement called J. Osari. Sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, it's a really cool name. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for the hook up on them. And I actually got these for 45 in the Represent sale. I would not pay retail for them because the inside of this pocket literally fell out now. So, uh, you know, they're good, but... So that concludes the top five, but we're going to fuck that off and make a top six because the hoodie that I'm currently wearing is constantly, constantly in my rotation. I never take this thing off. I actually feel like I wear it so often in my videos that I'm just going to like stop wearing it altogether. Got interrupted. One a minute. Right, where were I? Um, right, so we're second off this top five thing. I'm going to make it a top six <laughs> because this hoodie needs to be mentioned. So this, for the people that don't know, is the basement brick fly hoodie. It's 3M and it's pretty much the most wearable thing in my entire wardrobe. I thought this needed mentioning anyway. I feel like I wear it too much. I feel like I wear a scruff, but you know, scruffy's cool these days. So that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it because I know it's not shoes and it's a bit different, but you know, gotta mix it up every now and again. Um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're new. All my links for social media are down in the description below. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.